Well, welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, I finally managed to uh, catch The Nun 2. And this is going to be my review. Uh, make sure to watch it during the day, because I don't watch paranormal movies at night. There's reasons. But, yeah, um... Honestly? I thought this movie was... Okay for the Conjuring universe. Uh... Um, there's a little bit of definitely, like, really to be desired. I mean, those moments where I'm like, yeah, okay, that's a stretch. That's like a serious stretch. But, yeah, um, not definitive, but definitely implied that Sister Irene, who was from the first Nun movie, is, uh, related to a saint in the past, Saint Lucy. Uh, the patron saint, or the patron, or matron saint of the blind, they would actually, or because, well, patron is male, you know, matron would be female. But anyway, uh, it seems that they didn't banish Valak from the first nun movie. But we also, it was also revealed that they didn't because, well, Frenchie got possessed. It was shown afterward near the credits. That while he was being choked out by the nun, she uh, slipped some of her essence inside of him. Uh, you see it where the snake goes into his mouth. And apparently he's on a mission, thanks to the demonic nun, to uh, basically go on a murder spree of people who are descendants of St. Lucy. And... I gotta say, uh, Thaisa Farmiga plays the role of uh, Sister Irene very well. She actually did a very good job. Um, let's take a look at the cast here. Storm Reed, who plays Sister Deborah. Uh, to, there's a little bit of questioning I got in the story. Her acting's actually pretty good. It's the story in which it's like, this girl is a nun, she's questioning her faith because she doesn't, or she doesn't really believe in the, uh, transformation of wine to the blood of Christ. So, after witnessing a small, or a miracle where, uh, I'm not gonna spoil that, uh, she then is suddenly a very devout and very powerful believer, and in which is enough to help uh, Sister Irene defeat Valak. The thing is, we all know that Valak's not defeated because we all know of the exorcism of Frenchie that the Warrens actually take part in hasn't happened yet. So Frenchie is, even though they supposedly destroyed Valak, Frenchie's still possessed. So it's like, um, yeah, this is not uh, working because... There's, I mean, you're not stopping, or you haven't stopped her. And Bonnie Aarons comes back as the nun, very well done. They do a very good job with uh, some of the fright factor. I will give it that. The score does a good job at really keeping the uh, suspense going. Bringing in a goat demon. There's a uh, scene in this movie with a goat demon, folks. Um, that, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> because it's just, holy crap, man. As for Anna Popowell, um, I haven't seen her since the Narnia movies, so I'm not really aware of what else she has been doing. I thought she did a very good job in this movie. Uh, Jonas Bloquet as the French. Or as Frenchie was very good, but yeah, the movie objectively is about a seven. It's not. It's it's good for a paranormal horror movie. However, there's much to be desired because there is the post credit scene with the Warrens just picking up a phone and saying how can we help and whatnot. But yeah, this <laughs> um no. Nah. This movie, uh, definitely, it does leave some to be desired. Great effects, don't get me wrong, there are some great effects, there's a great scare factor, but the story does 
have inconsistencies here and there, and that's where it goes wrong. Because you're dealing with a demon that we've already seen banished from the second Conjuring movie. Then they had to create the nun because there was a lot of a uh, there was a lot of interest in the nun. So they created the first nun movie, and now they have a second nun movie, and we we just know that it's not dead. We know that it hasn't been sent back to hell because it gets sent back to hell in the 70s when the Warrens come across it. So, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of real stakes in this. I mean, sure, you see good triumph and whatnot, but it didn't really triumph because, well, yeah, still stuck, or Frenchie's probably still possessed. Anyway, uh... Subjectively, I would put this movie at about an 8. It's okay for a horror movie, suspense movie, but it's nothing really, or it does leave some stuff to be desired. Um, moviegoer, I found myself kind of bored in certain scenes. It's like, come on, just get to the, uh, get to the moments that I need to get to, because honestly, I it just had a l less caring so, moviegoer, I would actually put this around a 7. It didn't hold my interest a lot as much as I would have liked it to, because, well, I have already know the, uh, the stakes and how they're going to fall, you know? Anyway, folks, that is going to be my review for The Nun. Uh, Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Or The Nun 2, rather. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think? If you've seen it, have you not? What, let me know all you... Or let me know all uh, what y'all think. Anyway, folks, this has been our chat reviews. Have a wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.